Hi guys, Shocks here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today, today we're gonna turn a simple can of chickpeas into an awesome hummus. Hummus in a hurry. It's not authentic, but it works. <laughs> this is just what I do. Quick and easy, yummy, yummy snack. Okay, right, first off, I use my super duper food processor just to get it done. I don't have any tahini, so I'm soaking some sesame seeds in my lemon juice in the bottom. Adding oil, a can of drained chickpeas, a handful of fresh, fresh parsley or dried parsley. My secret ingredient is paprika, salt and pepper. That easy, let's get to it. Um, these are some, I'm probably going to use two tablespoons, I don't know, four tablespoons, four tablespoons, and to season. So yeah, there we go. Oh, and a couple of teaspoons. Into my magic mixer. I have like three of these. I believe tahini paste is roasted sunflower, or roasted sesame seeds that have been ground into a paste. And because I don't have that, I'm just gonna fake it. Shake up. I'm just gonna put some in, like. There's my. Let's see. One, ooh, maybe tiny. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Also at this point, I'm putting in some oil, just some, blah, 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 blah. After this gets mixing with the chickpeas in it, you will see what kind of consistency you want. I'm putting in the parsley. Adding a little bit of sea salt. And now I'm just going to put in a few of these chickpeas just to get some grounds on there and really grind up those sesame seeds before they really get lost. Okay, so what we're looking for is a nice thick paste out of there, which we don't have yet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add the rest of these chickpeas. No fooling around. Oh, I forgot the garlic. I just have some pre-minced garlic here. You can use one to two cloves of fresh garlic. Do, 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 do. I love a garlicky hummus. At this point, I'm also going to add my paprika. I'm going to do probably a good three teaspoons. Two te I'm going to put in two teaspoons. There we go. And some salt and pepper. So just some to start off with. Some fresh ground pepper. And now this needs to blend until it's nice and creamy. Pop the lid on and here we go. Sometimes if I find it's getting too stuck on the side, I will add a little bit of water once I scrape it. Smelling so good. Mm. 
All right, I'm gonna let this blend probably another five minutes. Okay, so you let this go about five minutes. I'm just gonna scrape the bowl and um, let it go a little bit longer. Give it a taste. Oops. Mmm. I think it needs just a little bit more pepper. And then I'm also going to put in just a touch more lemon juice. If I had a real lemon, I totally would give it a zest in here. I think, oops, I think we're okay for salt. So I'll just pop the lid back on here and continue to blend. All right, so this has been blending a very long time. Let's have a look in here. So there we go. That's a nice, smooth consistency that we're looking for. Oh, that looks so creamy and lovely. Yes, it does. Time for a taste test. <laughs> 